Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into some of the darkest and most chilling cases from around the world. Today's topic is particularly gripping as we take you inside the shocking case of Mikhail Popkov, a Russian killer whose sinister crimes have sent shivers down the spines of countless people worldwide. From his heinous acts to his eventual arrest and imprisonment, we will be exploring every aspect of this terrifying case. So, buckle up and get ready to enter the dark and twisted world of a Russian killer. But before we begin, we would like to remind you to subscribe to our channel, like this video and leave your comments below. Now, let's get started. Hey there, have you ever heard of Mikhail Popkov? If not, let me tell you about one of the most shocking cases in recent history. Popkov was a former police officer in Russia who was convicted of killing at least 78 women. That's right, 78 innocent lives taken away by one man. Popkov's reign of terror began in the early 1990s when he worked as a police officer in Angarsk, a city in Siberia. He would pick up women who were walking alone at night and offer them rides home. Once they were inside his car, he would rape and murder them before dumping their bodies in remote areas outside the city. Despite suspicions from his colleagues and family members over the years, it wasn't until 2012 that Popkov was finally caught. DNA evidence linked him to several murders and he eventually confessed to killing dozens more. The case shocked not only Russia but also the world as people tried to understand how someone who was supposed to protect citizens could commit such heinous crimes. Some have speculated that Popkov may have suffered from a mental illness or had a deep-seated hatred towards women. Whatever the motive may be, one thing is for sure, this case serves as a reminder that evil can exist anywhere and anyone is capable of committing horrific acts. As we continue to grapple with this tragedy, it's important to remember those whose lives were taken too soon and work towards preventing similar atrocities from happening again in the future.